James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is November 11th, 2022. It is 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had a very busy day on our sun with several very complex sunspots. We see that we've already had two M flares pop off that were both Earth-facing today. That is right. Now, these are not going to show up on LASCO whatsoever for whatever reason. But over on GOES here, you can see the first one there and the second one come out there. So you have all of the activity coming from these same sunspot groups. We talked about the, the complexity of them last night late and how they were, uh, well, getting ready or able to actually generate an X-class solar flare. You can obviously see the activity coming from those sunspots currently. I will show you those sunspots. We'll show you the X-ray outage, and we have a really, really good picture of these explosions on SDO. All right, first off, we're in a very high C baseline. There's your first M flare. Lots of very strong C flares accompany these coming from that same sunspot group. There is your second M flare. And the radiation hits the entire globe as the globe spins 365 degrees every 24 hours or every day. So again, we're up to a C plus baseline and we're having C flares and so far two M flares. Taking a look at our star this morning, our sun, sunspot group 3141 is what we were worried about. And it has morphed into a very complex, dangerous sunspot here. Several surround it, 3140, 3145. But 3141 is responsible for almost every C flare and M flare thus far today. Now, they are messing with SDO big time, 193 angstroms. They don't want you to see, but please see. That's probably, they've taken so much time. There's a flare there. There's another flare there. They've removed hours and hour and there's another major flare there all from that sunspot group 3141 which again experts say has a great chance of expelling an x-class solar flare and associated coronal mass ejection towards earth again these are directly earth facing sunspots we'll jump over to 171 they have removed a lot of the data, but you can see one of the flares there. And you can see another large flare right there. And then they do cut that feed again. So, uh, lots of time missing from SDO. Lots of time missing from Lasco. We saw it on GOES. We were able to see it on SDO, folks. This is a big deal. Uh, again, both M flares and all the big C flares were generated from Sunspot 3141. And NASA is currently giving that Sunspot a probability of 10% to produce an X-class solar flare today. That's a very high percentage. Usually you'll see 5 as your highest. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.